Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jazpies. We are doing a Bowman Draft. Love this stuff. We're doing a f uh, first half of the case from a fresh case. Break 17. Random team break 17 from jazpieshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Remember the teams that we combo? Orioles-Cubs comboed and Cardinals and Nationals comboed. Let's randomize each list. Uh, one and a five. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Lee down to Mike Coons after six times. One and a five, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got the Indians down to the Brew Crew after six times. Remember, paper base does not ship, but I'm sure everyone has read the item description. Lee with the Indians, Lampros with the Diamondbacks, Joe Cavanaugh Jr., Twins, Eric with the Last Spot Mojo, Yankees, Darren with the Reds, Joe with the White Sox, Big Boys, 007 with the Mets, EA with the Mariners, Lee with the Padres, Josh with the Astros, V with the Rays, nice, Diane with the Braves, Joseph Johns with the Rangers, Rich, you have the Giants, TJ with the Rockies, Adam with the Dodgers, Eric with the Orioles-Cubs combo, Joe with the Angels, Rich with the uh, Tigers, that's Joe Fagundis by the way, I think we have three Josephs in this break. And we have Joseph Johns, Joe Fagundis, and we have Joe Cavanaugh Jr. Three Joes. Uh, and this Joe. Diane with the Royals. Colin with the Marlins. We got the Matoys in here. Colin has the Marlins and Brian has the Pirates. Lee Cheeseman with the A's. TJ with the Phillies. Karen with the Cardinals Nationals combo. Rich with the Blue Jays and Mike Kuntz Brew Crew. Uh, someone let TJ know that he has the Phillies and the Rockies. Let me print this out. I think I got everything. I think I have all the supplies I need here. Um, any trades? I don't see any trade talk. No trade chatter at the moment. This is just like the winter meetings. There's not, not too much trade action going on. All right, while people are thinking about trades, let's open up this fresh case here. And let's see which four boxes we're going to do. my dad oh, there they are so let's see I'm going to use this guy here gotta choose the die um, one two three for the top and four five six for the bottom good luck Bowman draft boxes and the top row makes it to the big leagues so X marks the spot the next half of the case is already in the store so that'll be for the next random team. So I'll mark this RT for random teams. There it is. So these are the boxes we're going to do here. And I don't see any trades coming through. So maybe we will just break. So TWC trade window closed, so that list you saw remains the same. So on a Friday, the 15th, break 17. There's everyone right here. All right, good luck everybody. So this takes about half an hour. 35, 40 minutes actually, maybe a little over a half an hour. So settle in, and if you're not in this break, get into the next one. 
Don't miss out. Alright, good luck everybody. This is Bowman Draft Baseball, number 17 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. The second half of the case already in the store. Uh, has there been any big baseball news today? Any big signings? Any big trades? Here, I'll, I'll pull up MLBTradeRumors.com, which is one of my favorite sites during the off season and during the season too. So Rangers are to acquire Matt Moore. Astros signed Hector Rondon. Oh yeah, the Phillies, that's right. They signed uh, Carlos Santana. Pretty good. The Twins end up signing Fernando Rodney. That's confirmed. Padres acquire Freddie Galvis. Angels still making moves. They're not done. They've got Zach Kozart. I think I feel like they need to add they need to add more pitching, but you got Zach Kozart there, who's going to be playing third base. So they're going to have Andrews and Simmons stay at shortstop, who's a great fielding shortstop. And I think they're they're they're, they're getting uh, Zach Kozart to sit at third. My Dodgers have not been making too many moves. I think they're to sign Tom Kohler, who was non-tendered by the Blue Jays. Got that veteran right-hander following Brandon Morrow. All right. Well, let's see what happens here. Good luck to everybody. I'll make myself some room here. All right. So remember, this paper base does not ship. So we'll breeze through these. Put everything here. All right, there we go. This chrome will ship. The blue paper will ship, of course. That's out of 150, 50 out of 150. For the Mets, that'll go to Big Boys 007. There's more paper there. Uh, Rob, try um, 17 out of 3.99. That's uh, Riley Adams, speaking of the Blue Jays. That'll go to Rich. Hello, the. Um, I don't think so. If if everyone had problems, if everyone had problems with the website then that would be a website issue, but I'm thinking that it's something to do with you, uh, with something to do on your end of things, Rob. If everyone was having issues with our website, then it would be cert definitely be our issue. But I still see orders coming in. Um, maybe try clearing like cash, cookies, stuff like that. We've got Brett Netzer for the Red Sox. That goes to Joseph Johns. Some paper. Chrome and then DL Hall out of four ninety nine paper Orioles that'll go to Eric with the Orioles Cubs combo and we've got some gold that's Taylor Trammell for the Cincinnati Reds. That is 45 out of 50. 45 out of 50 on that one. Nice one for the red legs. That'll be for Darren McKenzie. Got 
how young Ricky Henderson looks there. Our next auto is Blake Hunt. Blake Hunt refractor auto for the Padres. Who has the Friars? Lee Cheeseman with the Friars. Cruz, what's going on? How are you? That is 413 out of 499. A lot of paper here. Should be expecting one more autograph out of this box. And as Paul T was mentioning a little bit earlier, there are bonus, there are autos with bonus autographs. Feels like, it generally feels like one per case, one box per case seems to have a bonus auto, maybe like a fourth or even fifth autograph. There's Connor Wong for the Dodgers, Adam Adamo with my Dodgers. And we saw D.L. Hall earlier. Now here's his autograph for the Orioles, EA Sports. Oh, so the website does work for you now, Rob. Nice. I wonder, I wonder what the issue was. Maybe it must have been just some sort of communication hiccup between our end and your end. He's asking if anybody's into that Leaf Metal. You know what I, well, you know what I would suggest, Rob, to just buy the spot. And then that unlocks a tweet from me. I could I could get it into single digits. Since it's in single digits, I could put a tweet out and that'll help motivate some people to get into the action. So just 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 buy. That's what I say. 141 out of 250, Marcos Diplin for the brew crew. Mike Koontz with the Brewers. And that's the first box. All right, next box. That's right, Jesse O. Scared money don't make money. And a lot of times, just just as a, just as a pro tip for everybody, sometimes like asking people what break they want to do, sometimes that doesn't work. A lot of times it doesn't work. I, I've noticed over the years, because once it's in committee, you know, once it's there, I think people just kind of uh, either either they can't rally around a single break, or you know, I don't know. It just doesn't work. But a lot of people don't who watch don't actually are are not actually active in the chat all the time, but they do listen. They just kind of keep me on in the background. And they listen for me to say, hey, single digits. Hey, this spot just sold. So when people start hearing things that are actually selling, that's when people who are kind of lurking in the background will, will jump into the break and start buying spots and start joining in. So sometimes it's best to just buy spots and then tell people, hey, I bought spots in this. My money is where my mouth is. Let's do it. And that's a better motivation uh, for for people, I think, especially when people who, again, are not always watching the show, you know, they'll go to the website and they'll see they'll see numbers, the spots left numbers start to tick down, and they're like, oh, that's that's filling up, so let me buy a spot there. People kind of look at it that way too. Theo Turtle in the house. Oh, a double last spot mojo for Andrew Knight. So it looks like we're gonna be doing that basketball after this. Thanks. Yeah, there you go. We've got Robert Rincon, Rich, Rodney, Andrew, Anthony, all all placing orders. So let's see what, see who got what. All right, second box, Bowman draft. Good luck, everybody. We'll breeze through this paper. 
That prison basketball should be fun. A lot of, lot of big hit potential in there. So even with just parallels. Paven Smith for the Diamondbacks. Lampros with the Diamondbacks at a 399. Sky blue. Kevin Merrill for the Oakland A's. That'll be for Lee Cheeseman. Out of 399, Lee. This is all paper. And Clark Schmidt is our first autograph of this box. That goes to the Yankees. That'll be for EA Sports. It's in the game. That's for Eric. And last spot, Mojo. He's our 16th overall pick for the Yankees. That's a nice one. This paper will ship Drew Waters out of four ninety nine. Diane with the Braves. Do I see some or I see some orange? Do you see what I see? Luis Ortiz. I see orange, 22 out of 25. Brewers, Mike Koontz. Is that another orange? Another orange. Orange autograph, maybe? Orange auto, Blake Hunt. That's Lee. Cheeseman, Lee C, with the Friars. And that is 12 out of 25. That is nice. Padres second round pick. Always love seeing those oranges. I like the orange parallels, they look nice. Nice jaspy orange. We got Tyler Ivey for the Astros. Josh Pruce, 16 out of 200. And the last stack out of the second box. And Taylor Walls, 20 out of 499. Paper parallel for the Rays. That'll go to V. Nick Gordon. Nice. That's D's brother. 230 out of 250. Nick Gordon, purple chrome. That'll go to the Twins. That'll be for Joe Cavanaugh Jr., the JKJ. So unless there's a bonus autograph. No, wait, that's not an autograph. Sorry, still looking for a third autograph. It should be... Coming up.
And there it is, Quinn Brody. Quinn Brody for the New York Metropolitans. And that is one for Big Boys, 007. Nice. Connor wants to do wants to stay with baseball, do some Chronicles baseball. I would love to do that. That's only 15 bucks a spot. I know Connor's already in. So he's been waiting for that for a minute or two. All right, halfway through this half case break. Good luck everybody. Let's get some more orders in. Let's keep the momentum going. So I know we have Prism Basketball coming up after this. We have, um, I think we have a full case of Prism Football close to single digits. We can work on that. We can work on a spot random, keep giving away uh, Transcendent and Star Wars Stellar spots for only $29.99 in our Scared Money Don't Make Money spot random. So if you want to do that, let's do that. And that could help us get a lot closer to doing some Star Wars. And we only have one case of that Star Wars Stellar. And with everyone hyped about uh, The Last Jedi, I watched it last night, with everyone hyped about that, it's a good time to get those hits either for your personal collection, if you're a Star Wars fan, or if you're an opportunist, it'll be a good time to get those hits, resell those hits for big money. And then get whatever else you want to get. Other case breaks on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So check it out on the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got more of this too. Bowman Draft is great. I love this stuff. Great way to learn about uh, the upcoming prospects. And see who the upcoming future stars of the hobby are going to be. Aaron Judge was in this set once upon a time. You know, so was Chris Bryant. So was... You know, Mike Trout, all those big names. All right, here we go. Who will be the next Corey Seager, Cody Bellinger, Trevor Story, Reese Hoskins. All those guys could be here. This this guy, Ariel Gerardo. 190 I two fifty. Who knows what he can turn into? This is this is like a the the most beautiful, like Hope Springs Eternal kind of break. Joe Johns with that. Because you never know what these guys are gonna turn into. You know, I mean some of them could be busts for sure. Some of them could be superstars, Hall of Famers. I remember when Reese Hoskins was going off, everyone was talking about, hey, where was Reese Hoskins' first card? What set was he in? Blah, 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 blah. There's Luis Camposano out of 399. So that's why you want to get into this set and invest in stuff like Bowman Draft. What if Paven Smith turns out to be a superstar? That goes to the Diamondbacks. Lampros with that out of 499. When you're the seventh overall pick, you may expect. Now he he might he may be blocked by Paul Goldschmidt, but he could probably change positions. You never know. See, stuff like this. You never know. That guy could be something. I mean, you don't you don't draft him that high, and and expect him to be a bust. TJ's calling it right now. Walker Bueller for the Dodgers, Rookie of the Year in 2018. That would be awesome. Another Rookie of the Year for the Dodgers. That would be great. There's Caden Lemons. I don't think the Dodgers are really going to be making a lot of significant moves in the offseason. They're, they're going to try to cut payroll, but they're going to they're going to count on the young guys like Walker Bueller. They're going to count on guys like... Um, um, Alex Verdugo, those young players to really step up. There's KJ Harrison, paper. 
Wait, TJ, do you still have that Walker Bueller autograph? I feel like, didn't I pull you one like ages ago from like some NT collegiate set or immaculate collegiate baseball set or something like that? And it's like a one of one Walker Bueller. Was that you? I feel, I have vague memories that was for you. I don't know, I wonder if you still have it or not. Oh, nice. Delvin Perez, six out of 99. Green Chrome. There you go, your 23rd overall pick. Nice one for the Cardinals Nationals combo, Karen. There you go, Michael G. Michael G says, I'm his number one overall pick. I like that. TJ says, one of one from Collegiate. Do you still have it? That was a nice hit. And it's Vanderbilt gear. There's our next autograph, Corbin Martin. That'll go to the Astros, Josh Pruce. Oh, nice. So TJ's with the Tulsa Drillers. He said he showed it to him while he was there, and he laughed. D did you ask him if he has any rec recollection of signing those cards? Sometimes, like, a lot of these ballplayers get so many stacks of these cards just kind of sent to them for them to sign. I feel like I feel like he I, I don't know if he would actually like remember signing cards like that. Maybe a one of one he would remember. One ten out of two fifty, but I guess for sets like this, is Corbin Martin gonna remember that? I guess these are these are actually their first cards. They may remember their first. Uh using El Diaz is another big Dodger prospect. That goes that purple paper goes to Adam Adamo. Looking for one more autograph out of here. Maybe a blue chrome autograph? No. But there's Juan Hillman. I don't want. Oh, he did remember signing it. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Now Walker Bueller looks to be the real deal. And if the, and if uh, and don't forget about Julio Rudius, ladies and gentlemen. He went down with a bit of a shoulder injury, but if he's back, if he's healthy and back on track, should be back around May, from what I hear, if all goes well. But if he's back on track, those are some two big pitching additions for the Dodgers. Great for the hobby, too. And Kevin Smith. Purple Chrome Autograph. Always nice to get some good color on the auto. Rich Schmidt with the Toronto Blue Jays. 100 out of 250. There you go. I guess Toronto Blue Jays are kind of in a weird spot. I know we have a lot of Tor Torontoans, Torontoans, Torontians, Torontees. <laughs> I know we have a lot of people from Toronto here in our room. Toronto Blue Jays are kind of in a weird position, I feel like. I feel like they've got a lot of big name guys, but they may need to start maybe turning over that roster. They're kind of in a weird spot. They've got a good team, they've got some good young players, but they gotta kind of figure out what direction they're gonna go in, especially in a very difficult AL East. Gavin says Torontoan sounds correct. That sounds right too. That rolls off the tongue a little bit better. Yeah, Gavin is a Philadelphian. I'm an Angelino, a Los Angelino, Angelino. I think Philadelphian is correct. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go to so, someone. Let me know. Like everyone, participation. Uh, let me know what city you're in and what you call yourselves. You know, if you're from that particular city. I think for TJ Tulsa, it's, it's got to be Tulsan, right? You guys are Tulsans? The, gr the great people of Tulsa? Tulsans? A Michigander? I think that's correct. Californian. Some cities, I don't know. Some cities, some most cities will designate that, though, I think. They will have, like, some grammatically... For like PR purposes, you know, 
Theo Turtle is a Republican. He's from Republic, Missouri. Even Democrats there would be Republicans. That's got to throw people for a loop. A Torontonian, says, uh, Gavin says. A Torontonian. Not a Torontoan, but a Torontonian. A Tulsan. Okay, so a Tulsan. That's right. What about Oklahoma City? Oklahoma, Oklahomian? What about Dallas? A Dallasan? I guess you just call yourself a Texan, I guess. Rick's in New Vienna. A Viennan. Viennan, okay. Calgar Cal Mon Calamari is where Curtis is. A Calgarian? A Calgar Calgarian? I don't know. I think you guys should just go by Mon Calamari Curtis up there in Calgary. Just change it. At least just for Star Wars. Uh, so states that people who live in Oklahoma who come from uh, Oklahomans. Oh, Oklahoma, Oklahomans, I think, is what I'm usually used to saying. Or Sooners, I guess. But I guess specifically if you're from, the, from Oklahoma City, maybe you just... Just call yourself a Oklahoman. Fair enough. Evan White, out of three ninety nine. Evan White is a Seattleian. A Seat a Seattleian. Maybe just a Washingtonian. <laughs> yeah, maybe some cities don't have it. You know what I mean? Paul T says he's just a troll, a trollian. Oh, TJ, I think Gavin was looking up just Oklahoma in general. Or I was I was asking about Oklahoma City. What the people from Oklahoma City call themselves, but maybe they just call themselves Oklahomans at that point. Zach Lothar is a Baltimore Balta a Baltimorean. That goes to EA Sports, it's in the game. Yeah, Tulsa is just Tulsa. That rolls off the tongue nicely. Tulsa. I'm a Tulsa. That sounds good. Baltimore, Baltimorean. I don't think Seattle has one. Se Seattlean? A Seattlean? Italian? 49 at 250. Joey Morgan from Detroit. A Seattleite. Jason McKee. Oh, okay. Seattleite. What about Detroit? Good call, Jason McKee. Seattleite. Satellite? <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Semantics with your host, Joe, from Jaspi's Hobbyland. Kevin Smith, 61 out of 150, a Torontonian. Torontonian. Peter Solomon, a Houstonian. That I know, right? Houstonians. He is a Houstonian. That goes to Josh Pruce and the Houston Astros. More Paperonians. And we've got Lincoln Hensman, a Chicagonian. A Chicagan. Chicagonian? Chicagan? Now that just doesn't sound right. A South Sider for the White Sox. That goes to Joe Cavanaugh Jr., the JKJ. There seems to be a lot of cards left after three autographs. This might be ripe for a bonus auto. That feels feels like there could be a bonus auto here. Well, we're gonna find out in just a few moments. That's Matt Tabor, paper. Out of 4.99, an Arizonian, a Phoenixian, a Phoenician. I know that sucks, TJ. TJ's having a hard time loading up that 
loading up the stream for some reason. He's usually okay. Lee side, what's going on? Jeff, Golden Thaw, what's what up? We were talking about Torontonians just a few moments ago, learning how to. There we go. Speaking of Torontonians, not a Torontoan, we learned just a few minutes ago. Francisco Rios is a Torontonian. 37 out of 150 for the Blue Jays. That'll go to Rich. Oh, I see. So Paul T. saying in Michigan, that's I had no idea. In Michigan, if you live in the Upper Peninsula, you are called a Uper. And if you live in the Lower Peninsula, you're called a Troll. Well, Troll has a different meaning nowadays, doesn't it? Those are the kids on the internet that bother me. <laughs> ah, bonus auto. We were ripe for a bonus auto, and there it is. Quinn Brody, a New Yorker. Twenty-five out of two fifty for the Metropolitans. That'll go to David Harrell, big boys. Double O seven with the last auto of the break. Unless there's a fifth auto, a bonus bonus auto. I don't think so. I don't think there's gonna be a bonus bonus auto. Uh, maybe no, no, there isn't. I trolled myself. And there you have it, folks. Joe for Jaspie's Hobbyland. That was Bowman Draft Baseball. Uh, random team break number 17 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. The second half is in the stores. So if you want to do it, let's do it. Thanks, folks. We'll see you next time. Uh, Angelinen, Joe, I'm out.